Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my power system analysis classes, okay? Um, I have been asked to teach a, a very short class about uh, direct current transmission systems and as a consequence I, I, I create a few videos uh, talking about different aspects of uh, general introduction of direct current transmission systems, okay? I must be completely honest, this is more informative than, than uh, modeling or, or simulation or equation-based uh, session, okay? Um, also, um, this is a very short and very brief introduction um if you want if you want to to have a full description a full understanding about a direct current transmission system or hbdc system for the high voltage uh, dc systems i highly suggest to take one of my one of my trainings about HB, hbdc systems okay especially if you're interested in multi-terminal dc systems okay this is a very introductory and very short explanation okay again this is just an introduction for uh, students that they will receive just a very brief introduction about the topic okay if you are watching this video is because you are already subscribed to my youtube channel however as usual please go to my research gate and you can find here the the link and you can go over there and download these presentations and others and I'm not sure if I include some numerical example for this uh, introduction of DC system, but if if there are some numerical solutions, please go to my GitHub and go over the, uh, the repository a few numerical examples, okay? Also, uh, feel free to to add me at Twitter or LinkedIn to, to keep a track about what I am doing, okay? Okay, before I start... Uh, let me let me make a, a very short remark about my experience with DC systems. Okay, uh, probably probably at the very end of my my stay in the University of Manchester in the UK, I start to work with HBDC systems. That was around two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but that was probably the most uh, exciting time for HBDC systems. It was taking off the technology. It was coming very hard. The HBTC systems. It was it was quite interesting for research. If you look my papers from 2009, 2012, something around that, you will find that I was working uh, very productive on on HBTC systems, multi-terminal DC systems, and so on. Okay. However, um, then I, I separate, I, I move a bit away from the, the HBDC systems, okay? Um, for that reason, I don't, I don't, I don't consider myself a, a, a top expert on DC systems, okay? There are a few of my colleagues and some of them very good friends that they, they are extremely knowledgeable and extremely good in uh, HBDC systems, okay? Some of them, they have very good uh, project, European project, uh, 2020 and so on, okay? Um, for that reason, if you are very enthusiastic and you fall in love with uh, HBDC systems, I highly suggest two interesting book uh, one of them is uh, HBDC grids for offshore and super grid, uh, the future, uh, the super grid of the future. Uh, as you can see here, um, they are they are very good guys in that book. Uh, Dear Van Herten uh, from Louvain, uh, Oriol Gomez that is from the University uh, Politecnica of Catalonia, Spain and Joan Lin, that is from Cardiff University, okay? And this other book is also quite a good book, uh, the HBDC Transmission Power Conversion Applications in Power System. Again, another book from Willey. Um, BJ K. Sot, uh, one famous person and, and quite friendly with me. Uh, he's one of the co-authors over there, is again one 
uh, those books are quite good if you are looking for fresh information about modern HBTC systems, okay? Um, I, I don't have any commercial relationship with my colleagues over there. The, some of them are very good friends, so they're just uh, acquaintance, but, but um, from the academic point of view, those books are probably some of the best for HPTC systems, okay? What is the objective of this class, okay? Uh, well, this class will be several videos, sorry about that. Um, but uh, the first part of this seminar of these classes will be a very short introduction about HPTC technology, its advantages, disadvantages over the conventional alternate current AC transmission, okay? Then we will go for operation and control of HBTC and interaction with the existing uh, AC transmission network. Then we will talk about some emerging technology through the use of voltage source converters. And the second half will be probably applications of the DC transmission. Especially uh, today, we are having a lot of offshore wind power, especially if you are in Europe, we have a lot of wind power in the North Sea, and some of that is far away from the coast, and it's a very deep sea bed, and as a consequence, using of undersea cable is extremely important, and the technological, the technological solution for that challenge of very long distances and using cables and very deep waters is the use of DC transmission. It's a reality, and you will see that I will present a few slides or examples about the integration of offshore wind power using, using, using the classical AC systems, and there are few wind farms in the UK with that approach using the classical AC. There are some limitations regarding the distance from the shore. And then I will talk about the use of DC transmission, especially uh, for offshore uh, wind power, okay? What is the agenda? Well, the agenda look very simple, but to be honest, it's because I didn't go so in detail because each one of them will be a presentation. Uh, the first one will be introduction about HPDC systems. Then I will talk about HPDC technologies, components of the HVDC systems, controls used on uh, HBDC systems. And finally, I will close this uh, series of doc of uh, of uh, videos, this series of seminars about HBDC systems, talking about the integration of wind power, especially the offshore wind power using HBDC systems, okay? Well, this is all for this uh, first video of the series on the introduction of direct current transmission systems in my um, playlist of power system analysis. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you very soon for the next class. Thank you.